Happy Monday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. We're looking at Psalm 56 today. Uh, Are you feeling defeated? Like like you've been in a battle and you're just fatigued. You're just worn out. Maybe you've been winning, but you're running out of energy. Uh, Maybe you've got attacks from all sides. Well, if that's how you're feeling, we've got a Psalm for you today. Psalm 56, listen uh, to some of the verses. Verse one says, be gracious to me, O God, For man tramples on me. All day long, an attacker oppresses me. My enemies trample on me all day long, for many attack me proudly. Verse 5, all day long, they injure my cause. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They stir up strife. They lurk. They watch my steps as they have waited for my life. That sounds pretty desperate, doesn't it? It's not a pleasant picture. But in the midst of that lament about how the enemies are against him, all around him, all day long, uh, the psalmist also expresses faith. Listen to what he says in verse 3. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? And then verse 8. You have kept count of my tossings. You've put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? Then my enemies will turn back in the day when I call. This I know that God is for me. In God whose word I praise, in the Lord whose word I praise, in God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? Wow. Did you, did you catch those statements that, that he made? In God I trust. Are you trusting in God today? I mean, I mean, really? In this crazy world, are you placing your faith in Jesus, knowing that, that he loves you? Uh, he says, I shall not be afraid. Honestly, are you afraid? Can, can you declare with the psalmist, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of what's going on out there. I'm not afraid of what the threats are. I'm not afraid of the unknown because I, I believe in, in God. And then he says, what can man do to me? He can kill you. Okay, he he knows that. I mean, he's actually in physical battles and and we're not, but what can man do to me? He can kill me. He says we can trust God. Uh, In verse nine, he says, you know, this I know that God is for me. The living God, the God of creation is for you. Uh, That's a powerful statement. So because of that, we don't need to fear. The Bible repeatedly tells us to fear not. Don't be afraid. Have courage. Trust in God. Uh, why, why should we not be afraid? Because God sees us. God knows us. God loves us. God is with us. God is for us. I mean, that's enough, isn't it? To know that the living God is for you. It, 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 it's meant to give us peace in the midst of the tribulation, in the midst of the attacks. And ultimately, I love his question, what can man do to me? What can flesh do to me? Well, really, ultimately, the worst thing that they can do to you is to kill you, which means that your enemy, the worst thing your enemy can do to you is send you to heaven before you thought you wanted to be there. So if somebody kills you and you're a follower of Jesus Christ, then they are sending you to glory to a place where there's no more suffering, sorrow, death, or pain, they are blessing you by doing the worst thing that they can do to you. That, I mean, that, I know that's crazy, and you're thinking, Pastor Chad, you're crazy. Look, I don't want anyone to kill you. I don't want anyone to kill me, but I'm just telling you what the psalmist said. Look, the worst thing they can do to me is send me to God, and that's a great place. And what that means is when you really hold on to that, you don't have to be afraid of anything because God is with you and God is for you, and he's got your present in his hands, but he's also got a place prepared for you in the future. So let's live like it. Let's live with faith and without fear because uh, we can trust in God and choose to live fearless lives. I hope that encourages you and blesses you. Have a great day.